Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at using widgets with Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create up a new file and let's call this uh, Bokeh Widgets. And I'm going to call this Bokeh Widgets 1 because I know we're going to have more than that in the future. So let's go on and talk about what exactly is a widget. So widgets are going to be these additional visual elements uh, that we can include in our visualization. Um, they uh, kind of display additional information and they also allow interactivity uh, to control elements in our bokeh visualizations and our bokeh documents. So let's go on and uh, kind of get this started. What we're wanting to actually do is we're going to add in a couple different things today. Uh, we're wanting to add in some divs. So um, this is for those of you who know HTML, we're basically going to be adding in div tags with bokeh to give us sections. Uh, we're also going to be adding in a spinner, which is a widget that can select numerical values. And then we're also going to create a range slider. And again, Bokeh has a ton of different widgets that we can look at. And throughout the series, we're going to be working and practicing with a variety of them. Um, so let me put those in here. We'll do a spinner. And we're also going to do a range slider. So first off, though, let's go on and get in our uh, imports. So for this, we're actually going to need uh, quite a few things, some things that we've uh, seen in the, uh, the past. So for example, from uh, bokeh.plotting, we're going to import our standard figure and show. We're also going to go from uh, bokeh.layouts, bokeh we're going to import layout. And then we're also going to grab, and this is what we're going to be using uh, Today is uh, from our models, we're going to import the div, the range slider, and then we're also going to grab a spinner. Okay, and so first things first, uh, let's also go about uh, creating uh, some data. Okay, so X here is going to just be list range 11, and then, um, mm, Let's um, let's go on and say uh, y here is equal to um, what i i uh, squared for i in x, um, and then what else are we going to want in here? Okay, so then we also want to create the plot or figure. Okay, so P is equal to figure here. And then we're going to um, do a couple things. One, we want our X range in here to be from one to nine. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit different than what we've, um, we've done previously. Okay, uh, we also want um, the uh, plot Width here, uh, let's say that we want it to be square, so 500, and then the plot uh, height here, we want it to be half of that. Um, and then let's go on and create up our circle. Um, so let's call this, um, let's actually save this in something this time. So points here is going to be something like p dot circle um, x is equal to x, y is equal to y, um, size is equal to 40. Uh, and then we also want our fill color here to be red. Uh, all right, so let's go on and create up a div, okay? So first off, we're going to create up this nice little division. So we'll say div, um, and then we'll use the div uh, function here. Now, first off, we want some text, and we are actually going to set this up um, to be a paragraph. And so uh, select the uh, circles size using uh, this controller. Exit the p tag. I'll put that there. And um, 
Let me make this a little bit smaller. All right, and then uh, next thing, we'll have a set width here of 200, and then uh, height here is going to be 30, because again, it's, it's actually uh, relatively small. Um, then we're also going to create up a spinner. All right, and then let me move this up a little bit. Now the spinner uh, here is going to be, I have to think about a little bit about the size. So let's call it a title here. Let's call this circle size. Um, low is going to be zero. Uh, high will be 60. This is low. High. Uh, initial, let's do step size. Here will be five. Uh, so value is equal to points dot and so what this is this is actually important here okay so notice we're actually calling this points object that's why we actually need to save this okay so that we can actually reference it so we are referencing the points object we want the glyph and we want the size okay so we're actually grabbing we're grabbing the points Okay, so we're grabbing this whole thing here, the circle, okay, our circle points. We're grabbing um, the glyph attribute, okay, and then we're, we'll grab that glyph portion of that object, and then we're grabbing the size attribute from it, okay, so that we can actually interact with it. And then uh, we want also in here um, width here, and we need to match that up to 200. All right, and then here is another kind of an important thing here, okay? Because it's actually, we're, we're interacting with JavaScript in the background, okay? So we need a, grab that spinner, dot JS, so JavaScript link in here, and we want the value, and then points, dot glyph, okay? And then we are grabbing size. So and this is gonna allow us to interact with, um, uh, with those values and actually grab things from that spinner object. So the next thing is whenever we create up our range slider, and again, you'll you'll see this um, uh, link here quite a bit in the class, so don't worry too much about it right now. Uh, the next is gonna be our range slider, so range slider here. Uh, and then we want here a title, and we're going to call this adjust x axis. Um, range and then we want in here a start a zero an end is going to be 10 uh, let's have a step value uh, since it's small we'll do 0.1 no 1 not 0.1 um, and then here a value uh, we're actually technically going to be grabbing two objects okay so we want our uh, uh, p dot x range dot start, okay, and then we want our p dot x range in here dot end. So that is actually, again, we're pointing to this p object that we created up here, okay, and then we are grabbing our start. All right, so our start is here, this one, and then nine, okay? So let's go on and actually uh, add in our uh, JavaScript links in there. Uh, and so um, let's, let's grab in that JavaScript link, uh, range slider, okay, dot JS link. And here we want to grab the value, p dot x range here, and then we uh, want start. And then here's the thing is we need to actually grab the attribute, um, the attribute selector, okay? And we want this uh, equal to zero, okay? Because again, we're grabbing that first item here, okay? And I'm gonna go on and just copy this. Nope. Put this down here. And again here, this is going to change to end. 
and then here we want one. Okay, so then we have uh, both of our selectors in here. Um, so again, because again, this is it's expecting this tuple value. So let's go on and actually create up um, our layout. Okay, that we're going to need in here. So let's create uh, some layout, and we want layout here is equal to our layout. Um, and then we actually are going to have a list inside of whoops, a list inside of lists. So we want our div, and then we want our spinner. Then we want um, our range slider. And then here we're going to actually have p our plot. Okay, and let's go on and show layout. And if I haven't uh, made any, oh, then this is layout. And if I haven't made any mistakes, we should be good to go. All right, so here we see that um, we have our nice, and let me zoom in just a little bit here. So now we can see here that we have our initial, our circle size. We can click, goes all the way to 60, goes all the way down to zero. We can change up our size. Okay, and again, we can change up our axes however we want, and it actually gives us this nice adjusted range. Okay, so again, this is just a basic um, introduction to uh, widgets. Uh, we will go into much more in-depth um, widget usage uh, later on. So if you guys like this and you want more of this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.